The pantograph is a joint mechanical assembly that collects current from the OHE line. and transfers it to the propulsion and auxiliary systems of the train. One pantograph assembly is located on roof of each DT car. The important parts of the pantograph assembly are the frame assembly, insulators, collector head, a joint system that is composed of welded steel tubes consists of the lower arm assembly, the lower rod assembly, upper arm assembly, the upper rod assembly, damper assembly and the pneumatic balancing The pantograph is operated by a pneumatic balancing system consisting of a pneumatic bellow. When the air is supplied into the bellow, a torque is generated on the hinges of the lower arm through a cam chain mechanism. This action induces the pantograph to lift with a constant speed. The air pressure is adjusted using a pressure regulator. The force required for maintaining contact of the head assembly with the OHE line is constant within the complete length of the pantograph extension and helps to eliminate differences in the OHE line position. The recommended contact force value of the pantograph is 80 plus minus 10 newtons. However, the depot has set it on 74 newtons. The following are the technical data of the pantograph. The maximum extension D4 is 1980 millimeters. Maximum working extension D3 is 1800 millimeters. Minimum working extension D2 is 100 millimeters and the lowered pantograph D1 is 567 millimeters. The functions of the parts of the pantograph assembly are as follows. The frame assembly of the pantograph is made of welded steel profiles and is mounted through the insulators. The insulators provide the mechanical interconnection of the pantograph with the roof and provide the electrical insulation. The pantograph is installed to the insulators by the set of washers, screw, and a spacer. The function of the upper rod assembly, lower rod assembly, 
upper arm assembly and the lower arm assembly is as follows. These components allow vertical motion of the collector head. The collector head consists of a head assembly which consists of a swaying shaft assembly and a collector shoe suspension and are joined to the upper arm assembly and the upper rod assembly. The collector shoe suspension consists of the shaft and two parts of the suspension at opposite ends. The carbon strips are connected by copper flexible connections to the upper arm assembly and provide the transfer of current on the pantograph structure. The damper assembly creates a link between the frame assembly and the lower arm assembly. The task of the damper assembly is to ensure high quality of current transfer to the pantograph. The balancing system consists of the air cushion or the bellow that induces torque acting on the lower arm assembly through the cam chain mechanism. It is mounted to the frame assembly on one side. The task of the balancing system is to balance the joint system and to ensure a constant contact force against the OHE line. The air supply system provides compressed air supply for the pantograph and also undertakes the task of electric insulation. Pneumatic connection is a set of pneumatic tubes and attaching collars installed on the pantograph structure. In case of low MR pressure, the pantograph can be raised by switching on the auxiliary compressor. This is the pneumatic control unit located inside the train. The important parts of the pneumatic control unit are the pressure regulator, flow control valve, EV or the electromagnet valve or solenoid valve, the air filter and the pressure switch. This is the direction of air flow in the pneumatic control unit. The pantograph is equipped with a maximum extension device or the MED. In case the pantograph exceeds its maximum extension limit, The MED is activated, it exhausts the pantograph control air and the pantograph is lowered automatically.